Hello and welcome to Shorts. Today I'm going to demonstrate a program which takes two square matrices from user input and adds them. Let's start by making a new uh, class. We're going to ask for a public method and we're going to name it matrix adder. Alright. First we're going to say hello to the user. We're going to say hello. Welcome to the matrix adder. Then we're going to ask the user to input his dimensions. So we're going to say in a new line, please enter your matrices dimension. Now we're going to make a new method. We're going to say public static and this method is going to take hmm this is going to return a double int array we're going to call this method matrix reader this method is going to read from the user input and make the input into a double array which is going to resemble a matrix. This is going to take an int of dimension. Alright, and this is asking for a return statement so we're going to give it a return and this is going to return something called a matrix. This is going to return our matrix. Now we're going to initialize this matrix. This is going to be a double int array called matrix. And this is going to equal a new int array. And now it's asking for the dimensions of this int array and now we're going to pass it this integer and since it's going to be a square matrix we're going to add dimensions to both uh, parts of the double int array now this dimension is going to come from user input so we're going to make a new scanner Scanner scan equals new scanner system dot n. We have to import the scanner class. We're going to do this manually for practice. Import Java dot util dot scanner. This is capital S. And we're still going to make the integer initialize dimension equals scan dot next int. Now we're going to read this dimension. And when we call this function, we're going to pass it the dimension. And it's going to be able to work with that. Now what it's going to do is going to make a double or nested for loop for int i equals zero. i less than matrix dot length i plus plus now we're just going to make the inner loop change i to j and set this at position zero Inside, we're going to make a new scanner. And this is going to scan 
the numbers of our matrix. So we're going to say matrix i j is equals to scan dot next int. Now we're going to prompt the user to enter his data. So before this, we're going to say sy so control tab or space enter and we're going to write please enter your matrixes data hmm now we're going to put this line before the nested for loop and inside the for loop, we're going to prompt the user to add the proper components of the matrix, which is going to be I, and we're going to concatenate another variable, J. Now, since I starts from zero, and a matrix doesn't have a zero, zero component, we're going to add plus 1 to i and plus 1 to j. So, all right, now we're done with this. This has read our matrix and has returned it. Now we're going to make a new class which adds a new method which makes which adds our uh, matrixes on the matrix reader. So we're going to say public static void uh, no double array is going to return a double array and this is going to be called matrix adder. And this is going to take two double arrays of integer type, matrix one, and a double array called matrix two. Now it is asking for a return type. So we're going to say return. And the return is going to be the result. Now we're going to initialize result. Result is also going to be a matrix, or in this case, a double array of int. So we're going to say int result equals new int. And the dimensions of this is going to be the same as matrix 1 and matrix 2. And since the square is going to be the same, but we're just going to type matrix 1 dot length and matrix 2 dot length. All right. Then we're going to need another for loop or nested for loop. So we're just going to take it from here. We're going to copy and paste. Oops. And here we're going to do a few changes. We're going to change matrix to result because we're going to be iterating through another double array called the result. We're going to iterate through this and we're going to say result i j is equals to matrix 1 i j plus matrix 2 i j. Uh, this is our work loop. This is what does all the 
thinking. This is what does the adding. That's why we are called it matrix adder. Now it returns the result. Now we could print this right away, or we could make a third method, which is going to take this double array and it's going to go across and print each of it. And so we're going to do that just for the fun of it. However, this is going to return nothing. This is just going to print to the console. So we say void matrix printer. This is going to take an argument of type int array, a double int array called result. And it is going to take another for loop. And instead of adding these again, we're just going to say system dot out. This is just going to be printing the result. It's going to go across each component of the result and print it. And just to make the result look like a matrix, when we have printed it, outside the inner for loop, we're going to ask it to print a new line. This is going to print a new line. We're going to remove this part of print, so it doesn't print a new line. And here, we are going to add or concatenate forward slash t, which is going to be a tab this is going to make a tab between the columns of our matrix. And now we're going to call our function matrix printer. Now the result, which is this is going to ask for, comes from matrix adder. And this is going to take two uh, double arrays of integer type, which was, which we're going to get from user input from matrix reader. And the dimension for this is going to come from our user input right here. And right here, we're going to add the same method matrix reader. And I think we are done. Alright, let's run it. Please enter the matrix dimension. We're going to make a 2x2. Two two. Please enter your matrix data. This is the 1-1 one, one position. This is the... Uh, these are the positions, so you will know where to add which number. This is asking for our second matrix data. I'm just going to add random numbers here. And yet here it has printed the result. To double check it real quickly, we have added a 4 at the last position of our matrix. And we have added a 4 at the last position of our second matrix. And we have got an 8, which is the result we wanted. So, to make this look a little bit better, we're just going to print out a result. So we would know this is the result. And we're going to run it again. This time, we're going to ask for a 3x3 three three matrix. So we just start adding random numbers. And as you can see, it's going to ask for 9 different numbers. And then 9 different numbers for the second matrix. And there you have it. It has displayed our result in a nice orderly fashion. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped.